Hi, Mr. Richards. Here today is Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 1, Practice Problems Review, is on introducing ratios and ratio language. In our first question, in a fruit basket, there are nine bananas, four apples, and three plums. The ratio of bananas to apples is, well, we have nine bananas and four apples, so we can put nine colon four. The ratio of plums to apples, well, I see three plums and four apples. For every blank apples, there are blank plums. So there are four apples and three plums. And for every three bananas, there is one, uh-oh. Well, I know we have nine bananas to start. What could it break down to? Well, nine bananas and three plums. When I divide nine by three, I get three. If I divide three by three, I get one. So I am going to say one plum here. Now, question two. Complete the sentences to describe this picture. The ratio of dogs to cats is, well, we have one, two, three dogs, and one, two, three, four cats. And so this ratio is going to be three, two, four. For every blank dogs, there are blank cats. Well, for every three dogs, there are four cats. Let's move on to question three. Write two different sentences that use ratios to describe the number of eyes and legs in this picture. Well, this animal has two eyes and four legs. This animal has two eyes and four legs. And so our total number of eyes here is four eyes and eight legs. Well, now we need to write two different um, sentences. And so let's just kind of go like this. Eight legs, two, four eyes. And we can simplify that down to four legs to two eyes, or even two legs to one eye. Let's continue on. Question four. Choose an appropriate unit of measure for each quantity. But before we do that, centimeter typically describes distances. Square centimeters typically describes area, and cubic centimeters typically describes volume. And so, when I'm looking for the area of a rectangle, that is going to be centimeters squared. Area of a square, centimeters squared. Now, volume of a prism, well, that's volume here. Volume of a cube is volume there, which leads us with side of a square here as a distance of centimeters. Next, question five. Find the volume and surface area of each prism. Prism A, as we see here, is three by three by three by three. And so for the volume is equal to our length times our width times our height, that's going to be three times three times three. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27 cubic centimeters. But what about the surface area? Well, this face is 9, 9, and 9. And so if I take my 9 plus 9 plus 9, I once again get 27, but that's only half of the faces. So if I then multiply it by 2, I will get a solution of 54 square centimeters. What about B? A 5 by 5 by 1. Well, if volume is equal to length times width times height, once again, 5 times 5 times 1 is going to be 25 cubic centimeters. Now, surface area, I see this side has 5. This side has 5. This side has 25. And so for surface area, if I add up the 25 
the 5 and the 5, I get 35. But again, that's only half of what we have. So if I multiply by 2, I get 70 square centimeters. Now, in C, compare the volumes of the prisms and their surface areas. Does the prism with the greater volume also have the greater surface area? Well, let's see. A has greater volume. However, B has the greater surface area since 70 is bigger than 54. Problem six. Which figure is the triangular prism? Select all that apply. Well, for triangular prisms, what we need are two triangular bases. And so what has two triangular bases? A looks like it, this has two triangular bases. So A is a triangular prism. B, I see, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pentagons. So that's a pentagonal prism. C, I see a triangle here and a triangle here. And so C is a triangular prism. D, triangle here, triangle here, two triangular bases. D is it. Now E has a bunch of triangles, but there's one, two, three, four of them with one rectangular base. That's actually a pyramid there in E. So A, C, and D are our solutions. And that is it for this grade six, unit two, lesson one practice problems review on introducing ratios and ratio language. Good luck.